Yeah, that's nice. Hey guys, welcome to an episode of InRange. I've got Annette Evans of On Her Own here, and she's brought us out a really cool gun, the Beretta 80X. Yes. The new 380 concealed carry pistol. Yes. And you love it. I love this gun. I can't wait to tell you why I love this gun. It is everything I've ever wanted to carry, and I'm gonna tell you why it's so amazing. And I've never even shot one, so you give us the walkthrough, and then we're gonna do some live fire. Absolutely. Okay, can't cool. Wait. So the Beretta 80X is the new redesigned Cheetah. And a lot of you might have been familiar with the vintage Cheetah of days old. And this is going to look visually similar to that, but they've done a ton of work to make it a better to shoot gun and one that is perfect for modern concealed carry. So first of all, the gun disappears on me. You can see I have to do some pretty extreme movement for you to see it. And I'm carrying under here. Let me get, walk you through some of the features that I think are really amazing about it. So we're gonna clear the gun out so I can show you a few things. The first thing is you're gonna notice that this is essentially a tiny 92. And it's really adorable. And you know, I think we should be able to have it all. And if I have a gun that's good looking as well as easy and fun to shoot and good to conceal, how great is that? But here's some of the things that I love about it. We're gonna start with the grip. So the grip fits my hands really, really well. But what's been surprising to me is I've watched a lot of people shoot these at Beretta range days and things like that and handle the gun at SHOT Show and NRA. And people with big hands go, huh, this is really comfortable. People with little hands go, wow, I can reach the trigger on this. And that's, you know, that's a hard thing to do. And I'm really excited that Beretta was able to figure that out with this sort of vertex style-esque grip that they put on the Cheetah. So one of the things about the Cheetah that a lot of people are going, well, why is it in 380? That's, you know, everybody wants to carry nine millimeter or beggar because, you know, the, the terminal ballistics, it's better for shooting so that you can stop the threat, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah, there are reasons why we want to shoot nine. 380 is what works in this platform. But let me tell you, first of all, the terminal ballistics of 380 work really, really well. You're not at a disadvantage. Besides which, you're carrying 13 rounds in the magazine, so 13 plus one rounds of 380 in this tiny little package means that's a lot of BBs that you're carrying for self-defense. But here's the really cool part for me, is it makes this gun super fun to shoot. Fun to shoot means that you're actually gonna go to the range, you're gonna practice, you're gonna be able to put rounds on target where you need to put them. Here's another thing that they got right on the ADX is everybody wants to put a red dot on their pistol, right? That's kind of like the modern thing to do. And I think that if you watch my video about concealment math, you'll understand why you might not want to put a red dot on a pistol. It might make it a little harder to conceal. But with the Cheetah, you have a choice. So what they've done is this gun is optics ready. There's a removable plate here. They're going to support the shield RMS footprint. They're going to support the Holosun footprint and they're going to support the doctor footprint. So pretty much all the micro dots on the market will be supported and it's just going to be a simple plug and play installation if you want to put a dot on the pistol. And that's definitely Beretta listening to people going, I want a modern concealed carry gun in this little tiny package. So here's another thing, and this is the killer feature for me on carrying the Cheetah is I don't want to shoot anybody or anything that I don't intend to shoot. I want to make shooting a conscious decision. And for me, having a double action trigger is something that allows me to do that because it's a longer, heavier trigger. It's more deliberate. It doesn't make it harder for me to shoot things. So I had to pay a little more attention. But the really important part to me is I can change my mind in the middle of, in the middle of pressing the trigger. And that's what the ADX does. This is probably the smallest double single action gun on the market. And uh, that really was the killer feature for me. And it operates really easily. So people who are used to the slide mounted safety on some of the Beretta 92s, what they've done is they've made this a frame mounted safety and it works very simply. So after I've loaded the gun or after I fired it, the hammer is back and I would just click up twice on the decocking lever on the side and the gun is safely decocked without having to get anywhere near the trigger and accidentally you know making a mistake lowering the hammer or things like that that might happen on some guns that can be shot in double action mode i can leave the safety on and this is what i choose to do is i carry the gun decocked safety on and that way i have extra extra layers of safety to make sure that when i'm holstering my pistol 
that I can put my thumb over the back of the hammer and I can know that it's on safe and I don't have to worry about, well, what if it gets knocked on safe while I'm carrying it for some weird reason because Murphy is, Murphy exists. But if you choose to, you can actually decock the gun and carry it simply decocked and double action only. And you still have that longer, uh, that longer and heavier first trigger pull. And then because this is a double single gun, you fire around the side recoil and you're back in single action. So any of those follow-up shots are gonna have that lighter, shorter trigger. For me, this is the perfect balance of, I want a thinking trigger before I shoot somebody because I wanna make really, really certain that they haven't changed their mind and they haven't stopped doing the things that make me want to shoot them. And if I need to shoot them, I can keep shooting them really, really well. You know, like gu guns as a self-defense thing are a, an outlier of an outlier. Bad things are happening if you need to shoot somebody. So we wanna make sure because of the consequences of doing that, that we're only doing the things that we want to do but then once we've decided to start doing them, we can do them really well. And I think that the ADX does that for me because it has this trigger system, but it's doing that in a gun that is something that I can actually carry and enjoy shooting, which means I'm going to train with it. The more I train with it, the more I'm gonna be able to make accurate hits with it. So get everything. And let's talk about the concealability of this gun. So you saw in the beginning that it was kind of hard for me to see. And I'll show you again. I'm going to holster up this gun. And this is in an Enigma Express from Filster. It's day one support for a really great holster system, which is, you know, part of the excitement I have with Breda and what they're doing with the concealed carry market right now is they're thinking about the whole ecosystem. But the gun conceals really, really well. It's comfortable to carry. It's a little heavy which makes it more pleasant to shoot, but it's not so heavy that it makes it hard to carry and hard to have with me all day when I'm running around and doing all the things I'm doing. The other thing is the organic shapes of the gun, especially back here at the back of the slide and the way the grip is shaped and how short it is from front to back, it makes it really, really easy to conceal, which means this is a gun that I can live with every day. And really, if I decide to carry a gun for self-defense, the bulk of my time is going to be spent living with this gun on my body. So that's a really important piece of it for me, almost more than the shooting of the gun in some ways. Here's a little bit more for the practical side. The grip is a little short for people with larger hands. They're still finding it comfortable to shoot, but you know, everybody wants to be able to put all the fingers of their hand on the gun. So Brett's thinking, why don't we do some extended magazines? Maybe some 15 rounders. I think we're gonna see those coming down the pike. They're also gonna be great, not just for people with larger hands or for that reload if you decide to carry a reload or you can conceal a little bit more gun, but they're gonna be great on the range because it's that much less reloading. Threaded barrels. So those of you who wanna shoot this gun suppressed, I am almost positive we're gonna see that happening. It's gonna be a lot of fun because here's the other thing that they're thinking about. Maybe, maybe because this gun can perform so well, we're gonna see possibly a race gun version, I'm hoping. Race gun version, race gun accessories, things that make this a high performance pistol because it's capable of it. I already think that out of the box, this is capable of that. Over the course of the next year, you're gonna see me take this to classes. You're gonna see me to take it to try to get really high performance runs on it. I'm actually gonna go after a Gabe White turbo pin. We'll see if that happens. So you heard it here first. But this is how good the gun already shoots and Breda has seen that, they're embracing it and they're looking to see what else we can do with it. We're gonna do a little shooting with this. But one of the things that I've heard rumors on the internet is that you could use those old Beretta 84 Cheetah mags for the previous generations. I checked with Beretta and they told me that, well, uh, it, they'll probably work on the range. You won't want to use them, you know, for important things like self-defense because we have redesigned the magazines as well, but they should work on the range. So I picked up a couple of them. Let's see how they do. Looks fine to me.
All right, I guess it's my turn. I've never even held one of these, so I'm just gonna go straight into it. They're cute as hell, and I like the Beretta M9 and the 92, so I think it's gonna be good. Oh, it does feel good. And your hands are so much bigger than mine. I got my whole hand on there. I don't uh -huh. have a problem. Mm -hmm. But it feels good, doesn't it? It does, it feels really nice. We had Matt Hot shooting one of these at the Beretta range. And he's got huge paws. He's got huge paws. We had to tell him he needed to stop shooting the cheetah to go play with the shotguns. <laughs> and if you know anything about Matt Hot and have seen him on various channels, you know that he's a shotgun dude. This does feel really nice. Now shoot it. It doesn't even move. Uh -huh. I know it's okay, so it's a little bit snappy, but it's not snappy in a way that it's a problem because it was instantaneous recovery. This grip angle is right there, easy to control, and it feels good in the hand. It literally does. I've been wanting to try this out. In fact, we did contact Brett. I was like, can we get one? And they were like, we don't have any right now. <laughs> so here we are using yours. But um, this is dope. Uh huh. Can I have another mag? <laughs> I'm just going to hand you mags. And oh, I'm just gonna keep shooting. that's nice. That DA pull is, is actually really good. Uh huh. It's not a problem. It's so easy to stay on there. And that DA pull, by the way, is completely factory. Is it? Nothing's been modified. Nothing's on this. been modified. I don't even have that many rounds through it or that many dry fire rounds through it. So up on the safety, decock. Up on safe, de all the way up to. Yep, that's decock. what I got. It. And you swipe down. And swipe down. I'm going to do a slow, long pull. Yeah, that's nice. Do some headshots. This is a piece of cake gun to shoot. All right, your turn. I'm gonna use all the ammo, I'm making all the fun here. All right, if he insists. <laughs> and here's the other thing about this gun is it's easy to make a gun work when we've got both hands on the gun and we're bearing down on it and we're making sure everything's right. Let's do a few fun things with the gun. So I'm gonna... I'm, I'm right-handed, so, you know, obviously this shouldn't be too bad. Cool. Left-handed, I'm a little bit less strong with the left hand, and I'm actually gonna hold it with a pretty terrible grip just to see what the gun does. Helps if I turn the safety off. Still works. So it's a really, um, one of the advantages of the, of the firing mechanism and the recoil mechanism of this gun is it's really forgiving of problems like that. If you don't manage to have that really, really perfect grip where you can see all my forearm muscles working, it's still gonna fire. And I think that's a good thing to have in a gun that you're gonna carry for self-defense. So this was my first chance to get to even touch one of these. And the, I, I'm not even kidding. I was like, first of all, as you know, InRange is not sponsored. This is not some product placement. You brought this out for us. The minute you put it in my hand, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right. It's just, some guns just feel right. You put it in your hand and it's just there. First of all, I don't have a problem gripping the whole thing, even with my bigger hands. And that's with the magazine not even in it. Let's just compare hands for a moment. Oh yeah. You see how skinny and little my hands are compared to Carl's. And, and we both think this is- And it's working gun. for both of us. That's a really nice thing. It's kind of like when, when Stoner was designing the original AR-15 and the A1, he mm -hmm. got it, eventually got it right. It was right for almost everyone. Yep. This feels like that equivalency in a grip. Yes. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. Sometimes there's guns that are so thin, they're actually uncomfortable to shoot. This distributes the recoil in a way that it doesn't, I guess that's it. When I said it was snappy, it was okay. Recovery was good, but because of the thickness being just right, it distributes across the web of your hand and it doesn't feel bad. Mm -hmm. And 380 is sufficient for self-defense. It is. Um, it's one of those things, like it's people talk about this, but, and this is something we won't get into in this video so much, but you might even consider ball. But that's a conversation for another day. Yeah. But that said, this is super nice. And yeah. now I want one. Yeah. <laughs> so Beretta did send this gun to me for T&E, mm -hmm. but I gotta say, I had the opportunity to shoot one of the early prototypes of it. And I told them from day one that I got my hands on this gun, that I wanted it. And I was gonna get it one way or another. It'd be cool if they sent me one so I could share it with you guys, do a little content and all of that. But, uh, I'll, I'm buying my own anyway, okay. so. Because how could I not? This is, to me, probably the perfect concealed carry gun for me. To be honest, I've always, like I said, I've always been a fan of the, the M92. And this does feel like a mini 92 in your hand. 
And the minute you gave it to me and put it in my hand, I'm like, okay, I want this. And then shot it. I'm like, oh, now I really want this. And yeah. So do you have any idea what their MSRPing are since they sent it to you? I, I want to say the MSRP is about 800 okay, on yeah. this. The, the special edition does cost a little bit more. If you go to my Instagram, you will see a picture of a special edition presentation box that totally makes it worthwhile. Oh, it's like a nice... It's like... this beautiful leather case oh, that's, that's cool. made just for the gun. Yeah. Uh, very, very Italian. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to say the street version of it is about seven, 800 bucks at yeah. MSRP. They are starting to filter out there. They're um, hard to find right now. Yeah. yeah, they're very, very hard to find right now. They have just started hitting the open market. I think you'll see that ramp up probably a little bit slowly, but they will be out there and they are worth the wait. It's really cool. I was the first time I got to shoot it. So I just want to remind you, you did get this for TNA, but this is not sponsored. Reddit didn't pay us to do this. This is just cool. And we did pay for all the ammo because of you, the viewer, supporting in range. And Annette, you coming out here to share it with us is a real treat. I'm glad to share it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Support us if you can. If you can't, just share with your friends. Thanks.